Hey guys, this is Tracy Walker and in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna to talk to you about a concept. A concept that is extremely important in our world as entrepreneurs, even as uh, corporate executives, okay? And I've been reading and studying and I've just really gotten um, totally engaged in, in this concept. And you know, most people like to talk about this concept and refer to it as time management. Okay, and I want to ask you, you know, are you actually managing your time? Are you uh, doing things that you need to do within certain blocks of time that allow you to be more effective, that allow you to utilize your time uh, more valuably and to do income producing activities? But I, I found that even though there are tons of books and materials and all these different things on this concept called time management, that really, really what we're looking to do and this is gonna be, you know, kind of unorthodox a little bit here, but really what we're looking to do is have energy management, okay? Think about that for a second, energy management. So it's not really about the time, right? Because time-wise, we all have the same 24 hours in a day, right? But don't we have, and so we can't control how much time, right? That's the bottom line, we can't control really how much time we have, but energy, can you control your energy level? Can you determine whether you're at a high level of energy or a low level of energy? Can you control whether or not you are sharing or giving off a positive energy or a negative energy? Well, the answer is yes. So see, you can't really control the time, right? but you can work on controlling the energy. So let me talk to you a little bit about, about what I mean here, okay? And, and I've learned this stuff and it's just absolutely phenomenal. I want you to think about a um, professional athlete. Okay, let's think about a professional athlete and let's talk about what their life really looks like, right? So um, a professional athlete does this. They usually spend about 90% of their time doing what? Training right? They spend 90% of their time training. And let's just choose basketball, right? So, I, so we can kind of visualize what's happening here, right? A, a professional basketball player spends 90% of their time training, right? They don't play basketball eight hours a day like you may go to work. They don't play basketball in the game, okay? They don't play in the game for 10 hours a day, five, six days out of the week, do they? No, instead they are training 90% of the time and they're performing 10% of the time, right? They're performing this 10%. Now let's talk about what most of us do, right? Let's just, I'm gonna say entrepreneur because that's kind of the category I fit into. Um, so as an entrepreneur, what is it that we are usually expected to do? Right, we're usually expected to perform 90% of the time, right? And and think about that. And then how much time do we really spend on training and understanding what it is that we're doing, right? Now, there's clearly a dynamic here that needs to be evaluated, all right? These people are spending 90% of their time uh, training where they're only gonna spend 10% of their time performing. Now, let's talk about the, the performance phase, right? Um, well, let's talk about the training phase. During the training phase, um, they are literally doing things that they need to do um, that are designed around, uh, let's say, expanding or um, renewing energy, right? Um, they And they do all of this, uh, they build very precise routines, don't they? Um, they get up, they eat on, at a certain time, they sleep for certain times, they work out certain times, they rest certain times, they stay focused during certain times and, and they have to connect with their ability certain times of the day and they do all of that. They do all of that during the training period, right? And they do all of that for very short focused periods of time, right? Very short focused periods of time and this would be game day, right? And you know, 40, 50 minutes or so, right? 40 to 50 minutes. Um, and in basketball, maybe every couple days or something like that is, is what's happening. But they are spending their whole time training, eating, doing a certain regimen only to perform at optimal levels for 40 to 50 minutes at a time, right? And then on top of it, these people make big bucks, right? They make big bucks and guess what else? Then they have five, you know, six months off, 
right? Why? To renew, to, to regenerate things that they need to do. Okay. Now let's look at, let's look at this group over here, the entrepreneur. We have 90% of the time we're trying to perform. We're working these ridiculous hours. We're overdrive. We're doing all these things. 10% of the time we spend to training, getting on webinars, um, you know, working with uh, mentors, working with uh, experts, uh, people that can guide us, coaches in the right direction. 10% of the time goes to this. And what are we doing? We're doing the opposite, right? So we're expected to perform without any training, right? We have no systemized way to do that. Right. So so now we don't have these several months off. Right. Very few people they, they might have two to three weeks. Right. Two to three weeks off. And, and, you know, even if we talk about, you know, a corp, a corporate America job or a corporate UK or whatever it is. I mean, the, the bottom line is you two to three weeks off. Really? And and aside from that, that, that would be your off season. Right. Where these people have five to six months off to, to get their self, get themselves together. Um, here, um, you literally are expected to perform, you know, eight to 10 hours out of the day, right? And with very little training, you have no schedule. You don't have any regimen. Um, you're not eating on a certain schedule. You're not resting on a certain schedule. Um, you, you know, you're, you have very little way to, um, to systemize anything that you have in your life. And then you wonder why this group over here, usually it leads to burnout, right? It usually leads to burnout, frustration. Okay. And then let's not even talk about that. These people over here generally have, you know, a, a career span of let's just say five to seven years. Right. And over here, we're doing things for 40 years, right? Some people 35 years, even more for others. Right. So you can clearly see, oh, wait, don't let me forget that the money just ain't as good over here. Right. Not so big bucks. I'll just put it that for the most part. Right. Not so big <laughs> bucks. And so what does that mean? That means that there's something that these people over here know that these people over here have not been clued into. See, these people are taught time management. Right. But these people over here are taught energy management and that's why there is a distinct difference so i am going to challenge you i am going to literally challenge you my friend to evaluate yourself and compare yourself in this model okay i want you to do that and i'm going to give you a couple of things here in fact let me just go ahead and um i'm going to delete that i'm going to give you a little chart that i, that I learned about here okay and it's, it's real simple this is going to be hi this is about your energy Okay. Oops, energy. So this is going to be high. And I'm sorry the line isn't straight, but you'll get the point. This is low. Right? Then this is going to be negative energy, and then this is going to be positive energy, right? And so this is just a little quadrant here where we're going to call it's really called the dynamics of energy and I didn't make this up. Um this is this is actually, you know, a, a Jim Lore and Tony Schwartz concept here, but it's it's the dynamics of energy, okay? And so this would literally be high negative energy, right? High negative energy. And what is high negative energy? Well, this would be when when you're angry about something, when you're fearful about something, um when you're when you're anxious, when you are um, defensive, when you're resentful. Okay. This is high negative, right? Right. Then over here you have low negative, right? And it's just the relationship between this quadrant and or this axis and this axis. So low negative, what is low negative? Well, this would be depressed. Okay. Then next would be, um, let's say exhausted, right? How many times do you feel like, Oh my God, I'm just so exhausted. I'm just so tired, exhausted, burned out, hopeless. Okay. Um, that's low negative over here. We have low positive, right? And you guys know some low positive energy people. Um, this is where you're relaxed. You're in a relaxed state here. Um, you, you know, we might call it mellow even. Okay. You're mellow. Um, you're peaceful and you are, you know, serene, you're tranquil, um, whatever. I'll just put tranquil here so you can kind of get the idea of what I'm saying here. But over here, over here is your high positive, right? This is your high positive. And when you are in a high positive state, you are invigorated, okay? Invigorated. You also are confident here. Um, in a high positive, uh, in a high positive state, you are joyful, you are connected. 
okay and when you are these things here this is what we would literally call being fully engaged fully engaged. this is where you perform your best okay you know so so you have to think about where you fit here and I want you to actually look at that other sheet that I had there and and really understand the difference these professional athletes they are in a high positive state when they go out there on the court right they can't be low positive they can't be relaxed and and mellow and peaceful and tranquil I'm not saying that their demeanor isn't relaxed I'm saying that inside from a mental standpoint they are invigorated they're confident they're joyful they are connected right they can't be high negative what happens when you're high negative you'll miss every shot what happens when you're low negative you're depressed and you're exhausted you're sluggish you can't contribute to the team you have to be in a high positive state so let me ask you let me ask you, when do you feel the most fully engaged? When are you in your high positive state? Consider it. Consider it, evaluate it, and apply it to your life. I just wanted to share this with you because it is something I, I think was extremely important. It's, it's, it's definitely a shift um, in, in the mindset. It's not about the time, it's about the energy. So work on your energy, my friend. Work on being fully engaged. Work on the concepts of high positive energy and um, document some success, document some results, and, and see what kind of things happen for you in your life. This has been Tracy Walker. I'm excited to share this information with you, and I'll see you very, very soon on another video. Bye.